Happy Halloween. Want to decorate some sugar cookies with me? Let's go. So first I'm going to start with this little ghost. And I love this cookie cutter because it makes the ghost look like they're dancing. So of course I had to give the ghost, some of the ghosts at least, some eyelashes so that they can have ghoul friends because I'm a nerd like that. You can laugh as much as you want, but she's done. So now I'm going to move on to the cat and I'm going to make a black cat with some green eyes. And I'm using this tile here that reminds me of Dia de los Muertos, which means that I get to celebrate Halloween a little bit longer in my household. And it's just so much fun. We're really getting into the Halloween spirit this year. So with the black cat, I'm just going to do a really simple outline, then fill in his whole little body. And um, I'm giving him the the look of like standing on his little tippy toes. I was thinking about doing like raised hairs on his back, but I really didn't know how I was going to make that happen. I'm still working on my decorating skills. So for now, he's just a little black cat. And then I'm going to give him some green eyes. And then I'm going to use my black uh, royal icing to give him some lines through his eyes to give him that cat eye. The next one is a pumpkin. This one has a few different sections that I have to do. So I have some pre-made pumpkins off to the side so I can do this. So first, I'm going to do the three portions there. And then with a drier pumpkin I'm gonna, or a drier cookie, I'm going to bring out and fill in those three portions. And then from there, I'm going to do the green stem. I'm going to give him a little curly vine and some leaves. And then I'm going to put his little face on and it's just a traditional jack-o'-lantern face, something cute and simple. Sometimes less is more, and this is the case for me in my little jack-o'-lantern face. And then here I'm going to do the bat, and I did one just like this earlier this month, and so I'm going to do it exactly the same way. I'm going to do a black outline for the entire thing, then I'm going to give him a little black outline for his little body, fill that in, and then with the wings I'm going to fill those in in purple, and then I'm going to use my black icing again to give the defined details of the wings to make it look... I don't know, a little bit more rugged, a little different, a little bit spookier. And uh, yeah, this is these are my Halloween cookies. I'm so excited about these. And do you see my shirt? It says Twin Pins Bakery. The woman I'm making these cookies for actually made this shirt for me. She also made the decals that go on my car. And I'm so grateful to you, Jessica. And I hope you love these cookies. And thank you so, so, so much for all your support. These, this season has just been so much fun. We have gone to a few parties. This is just, I love fall in Idaho. You get to really feel the seasons and we're just really getting into it this year. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fabulous day and a happy Halloween. Bye-bye.